It's the East Podcast, bitch. Podcast, man. I'm Easy Mo. Today we got the man, the myth, the legend in the flesh. Yo, Vegas' is very own Euros. What's good, bro? That's love, man. What's yes, good? yes, sir, yes, sir. Should we? Um, I was just, I, I just, I just grabbed this. and yeah. was like, damn, should we? Should I wait for him? No, nah, we're we good. Doing? No, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. I can smell it. It's gasoline. It's gas. Yeah. Just come on. Just take it, man. Okay. Cheers, bro. Cheers. To you, man. Yes, sir. To your podcast, man. To you having me on. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. I needed that. I oh, needed yeah, that. That. Was, that was cool. That, that wasn't mixed with nothing? No, that's straight That's straight 1800. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, 18, I, was, I think that was the first time I had 1800. That for was, real? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's kind of smooth. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it's the reposado. It's and fire. I mean, I'm a dark. I'm a dark. I'm a dark myself. But uh, the Bro, clear, the clear is. Uh, yeah, I can't believe. Uh, I can't believe all these these uh, uh, liquor stores are, out of fucking Hennessy. I mean, I would expect them to be on this side of town. <laughs> Bro, well, I guess it, I guess it's New Year's, but yeah. they had they had the big boy. They only had the big boys for sale. And okay. I, and I was like, ah, yeah, nah, it ain't nah. It's not that nah, serious. It's, but, nah, it's not. Yeah, I needed that shot, man, because I'm going to be honest, I was kind of nervous, bro. I was looking forward to this, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I don't do it. Nah, for real, because I, I had the, I got the same feeling that, and all, all respect to all my other guests, but I got the same feeling when I had P5 and Ruga Rico on here and Two Realists on here. Mm-hmm. And it's just because, like, you know, I've been, you guys have been part of my life for so long. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm born and raised here, I'm, you know, yeah. and it's, 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 it's weird to... To have people like you guys, like like you and Two Realists, to come and fuck with me on my show. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? So. That's that's absolute. That's I appreciate that. That's love. Mm-hmm. And uh, I kind of told myself that I was um, going to do stuff like this more yeah, often. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, kind of. Uh, You're kind of a recluse, huh? Kind of. Yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. sort of, kind of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sort of, kind of. Uh, Yes and no. I just don't be doing the, the extra shit though. Like mm-hmm. if it's if it's um like even before like when twenty twenty started, I had I had big plans of hitting the road and all type of shit. And, yeah. You know, this has been a crazy year. A lot of shit was put on hold. Changes, I know, man. all type of shit. It so. sucks. It fucking sucks. Yeah. Um. Well, shout out to P Fire real quick for the alley oop. Oh yeah. For, for connecting sure. for connecting for sure. us. Yeah. My nigga Fire. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um. Um, so what's up, man? What have you been up to, bro? Like, how's quarantine been treating you? I see you riding your bike a lot. Uh, yeah, man, the yeah. bike. Uh, I actually got that in quarantine. It was a, it was a, it was a hassle because everything was through the roof, like mm-hmm. the, the the weights, everything. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just I'm just thinking yeah. like, damn, I'm already. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie though. This the it was already what I was already on. It just made me just. Turn it up a little bit, cause mm-hmm. I already kind of live quarantine. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, so it was kind of like, okay, cool. It yeah. sounds. I guess the world is on the same page now. Like yeah, they, yeah. they forced to kind of. Uh, yeah. So that that's. Um, but like everybody, I feel like I have my negatives, mm-hmm. ebbs and flows. You know, mm-hmm. ups and downs. It was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah as I an think. Artist, I think. I think it was like a blessing in disguise, for real. Cause for like, sure. You know, like a lot of people just got to not not mentally relax because of. You know, like we don't know what's going on, but right. like physically, just kind of take a break. You know what I mean? Yeah, and for kinda, sure. And kind of be out of control in a sense, like like you can't do nothing. You right. just gotta sit down. You yeah. know, it's it's uh, and I I I needed the break because I I work right. my ass off. You know, right. like I have two jobs, three jobs. You know, oh, I'm that shit. guy. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And uh, um, so I needed it for sure. But but uh, man, I just got a bike, bro. You know what I'm saying? So okay, yeah, I just got a bike, bro. The, the, that bike life is is dope, bro. It really is. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it, yeah. It's it's so for me, it's that is the um my heavy bag, and I be training my son with the basketball. Mm. That's like that's my conditioning moments. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. for because I smoke heavy, so yeah, I be uh yeah, you gotta balance that that's out exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So when did you did you you've always been into fitness? You've always been like you. Bro, even looking back on your on your your old videos and stuff, bro, you you look like a middle Fun, linebacker. Nah, bro. you know what's so funny though? <laughs> like anybody, like growing up, I, I I was little, bro. I had like I hit like a growth spurt, like damn, like from nineteen to twenty. I, that bro. late? Yeah, late. Crazy, bro. Late. Crazy. Like yeah, I'm still waiting on mine, bro. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I hit, I hit like a, a little growth spurt. So yeah. um, 
Yeah, that was that was. He was a little dude in high school. I wasn't. Nah, I mean, like freshman year, I was probably like five seven, five eight. Whoa. Yeah, I wasn't he crazy was, tall. He was my height. Yeah, like junior year. <laughs> I, yeah, junior year, I, I think I was like five ten. Mm. And then like yeah, six foot. I remember I got locked up when I was like six foot tall. Yeah. Like on my my mug shot and yeah. my scope that give you yeah. yeah yeah all of that. I was six feet tall. Like you look taller than that though. Yeah, I'm like six two. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I got locked up, and yeah, when I got out, I was you know I was kind of mm-hmm. I had filled out you type shit. Yeah, so burpees and shit. All that. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I had the regimen. Yeah, you know, I was locked in. So. Um. Well, yeah. Let's let's start there then, because uh, right. this is what I was talking about with two with, with two realists when I was talking to them. And your name came up. I was like, bro, his music is like impeccable. It's superb, bro. But I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about him. Right, you right, know what right, I mean? Right, like, right, right. and then as I'm preparing for this for this interview, I'm like, um, but what I, what I I only know what you give us in the music, really. Right, right, you know right, what I mean? And right. and I was looking for old interviews, and you know, I found a couple, but I was like, he don't he don't even do interviews, really. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And and again, I'm humbled that you kind of came and fuck with me for that again, for sure. Appreciate um, you having me. Man. Um, but yeah, let's start at the upbringing, bro, because um, you know you're a West Side baby. Yeah. For sure. Well, okay, so I was born in Seattle, but what? I was yeah, but I was raised in Vegas, so elementary up. Uh-huh. I was, yeah, I was okay. West, West Side. I've never lived nowhere else but the West Side. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, yeah, and then. What you say? You said about the your upbringing, the, like so. Yeah, I mean West. I'm uh, West Side yeah. shit. So, what high school did you go to? Uh, Western. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, went to Gibson. Sure. Gibson. My Middle little sister school. went there. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean. Yeah. So. so how was it? So so what was your family life like growing up in? Uh, you know, your childhood was it regular childhood or or? Mm, I guess I mean shit. Uh, single parent home moms. Okay. Uh, she worked a couple jobs, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I ran the streets yeah. type shit, yeah. you know. Uh, what about your dad? Uh, my dad, what was my... Me and my dad, we, we was cool. He was locked up type shit, oh, okay. but we was cool. Um, like, we had a... we There was actual communication between us, like, I guess, like, you say, when I was, like, eight, nine. He was, in, he was locked up? Uh, no, nah, we was just, like communicating okay. like you know he was out uh yeah. but like we would that was like my last remember talking to him and then when i got out you mm-hmm. know we had conversations and shit okay. we seen each other but does he live here uh i don't know oh, really? <laughs> yeah uh, i don't know you still to this day don't yeah, really keep yeah. in touch with him nah not mm-hmm. really i talked to his um his brother my uncle mm-hmm. yeah we're close is 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 how has that affected you you feel like now looking in hindsight and you know, as you know, as an adult, how how you feel like that affected you your know childhood? You know, what's so crazy. I've always, um, I've always. That's probably the answer I, I haven't gotten yet. Mm. You know, I, um, because when I look at my life, I mean, when I look at my life, I think there was a lot of moments, especially raising my son. I'm like, damn, right. I, a lot of this I could have prevented a lot. You know what I mean? A lot, right. of, a lot of shit could have been prevented with a father figure. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um. I just feel like I didn't turn out like I'm not a I'm not a bad father or you know what I mean like yeah. I didn't I don't feel like it was um like it may it, it changed me for the worse I feel like if anything it just kind of put in perspective what I'm not gonna be yeah uh and that was it mm-hmm. I mean yeah but I, I I don't think it ever affected me in a negative way at least it's not um it's not obvious to me mm-hmm. you know what I mean maybe it's something that in another aspect of my life that I'm not yeah. you know that I haven't addressed but I don't yeah. know yeah that's that's interesting cuz um yeah so you weren't that kid like you know like mad lashing out nah, or mad cuz cuz your pop no, wasn't there no bro like I be seeing that shit I be like bro I don't I mean don't get me wrong like I do have moments where like when my son was born I kind of did like kind of cuz me and my pops was kind of cool we was kind of getting back cool when mm-hmm. he was born I was just like just seeing how hard it was for me, for me and his mom, it was like, damn, my mom, mom had to go through this yeah. dolo. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah you kind of lost respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and it, and it kind of like made us. It kind of like created this like distance, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so when I moved, I didn't I didn't tell him I move mm-hmm. or you know new numbers, you know it just yeah. was whatever type shit. If you get in contact with me, you get in contact with me. Yeah, yeah. And then so that kind of 
that kind of pushed me and his un- me and his his brother, my uncle, to mm-hmm. kind of to kind of get cool yeah. type shit. So. Damn, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've talked to. I mean, a lot of us don't have don't have our fathers or the, the ideal relationship with our father. You know, like right, right, right. I never met my biological father, right. and you know, I had a I had a father figure, but but it always it always fucked with me a little bit. You know, with my right, right, it kind of right. it kind of you know looking back, it kind it put me through some identity crisis, like because right. I didn't know who where I came from. You know I what feel I mean? You. So I feel it. there was you know I I try and and I've. I try to break it. Out. I pray, try, try to just block it out because it don't even matter now. You know what I mean? Right. Like, but, right. but I don't know, bro. So I like to get those those kind of feedbacks to help myself. Too. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. So um, yeah. So you so you went to so you got locked up at a young age. Yeah, I got locked up at eighteen. And I, mm. I got out when I was twenty two. So four years, huh? Yeah, high yeah. desert, high desert, mm. Indian Springs, mm. uh, NSP. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much every yard, bro. Like every yard. Yeah, when you're 18, huh? Yeah. Uh, Ely, but I was only in Ely for a little bit. Okay. Transition. Yeah. Transitioning, going to. That's Max yard. up there, right? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I, it was crazy because I had a couple partners up there that I, I could not wait to see, and I, I got to send a couple kites. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. it's hard, bro. Like to even, they're so strict. Like letters, none of that. You can't mm. piggyback. It's they, they on it like yeah, that. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, nah. Uh, yeah, I've been up pretty much every year. I ain't proud to talk about. It. Or I ain't. It's nothing to talk about it. But it ain't nothing I brag about. That's right. why it's not just all of my music. I yeah. let you know. I touch on it, but I, it ain't nothing that I want to be like get points off of. Yeah, you know glor- what I mean? you're not like, trying to glorify. Nah, I'm not yeah. glorifying it. I just yeah. shed light on some shit. No, that's why. That's why I, I. I mean that the fact that you don't go down that route in your music is makes me appreciate it even more. You right, know what I mean? Because right. I mean you could p- pull that card and you know do do, right. do that and you know but but um, you're staying true to true to yourself in your music that way. You know what I mean? Right. So as a listener, I appreciate it. You know what yeah. I mean? It makes me even more interested. And who you are? You appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, but but what was that experience like though? Like going in at eighteen, like emotionally, uh, mentally. You know what, bro? It's it's, it's crazy as it's gonna sound. I it didn't hit me at the time. I was just more excited to go see my niggas. Really? Yes. I was like, <laughs> what yard am I gonna Whoa. be on? Because I know if I hit the desert, I got such and such yeah. and such and such. They on level three. I'm gonna be. Uh, yeah. If I go to Indian Springs, I got. You know what I mean? That's how I was looking at it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, damn. Um, but I ain't gonna lie though, uh, at sentencing, it did kind of hit me after, like when the judge, when I knew what I, what, how much time I had to do, like mm-hmm. when, uh, because he didn't even go with what the DA was saying, like the DA wasn't arguing or nothing, but he was just like reading everything. He was like, "You getting a cool little?" Yeah. What was the charges? Uh. Pos- well, it was robberies, you know what I mean? But they couldn't really, you know, there was no real, just the robberies didn't stick, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And that's what the, that's what he was bringing up. I was like, bro, mm-hmm. y'all didn't, I didn't get convicted for no right. He was like, it don't yeah, matter. Yeah. There's, there's a consistent, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no matter if you ain't getting convicted for it, you're still getting arrested for it. You know, right, there's right. robberies, there's firearms, there's, you know, you just getting, he, you're just pleading to the things that you're guilty, f- caught for. You right, know, the right. possession, stolen vehicle, unregistered firearm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had got put on probation for unregistered, uh, it was just uh, two pistols and a, a possession, stolen vehicle. So uh, I got light, something, something light. light, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, something, something light. light. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yeah. when you look at, you know, yeah, when I look yeah. at my life, man, I, things, I, I was yeah. not. I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was, was kind of happy. You have been young and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I was more happy that I got hit for some shit like that. Yeah, I was yeah. just like, all right, if I gotta yeah. go away for <laughs> two or three of them, yeah. it's cool. Cause I had, bro, like I, when I say, like all my niggas, like my day ones, my 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 bros, you know, they got like L's. Mm-hmm. Like there ain't no daylight, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Unless like they get some crazy news on an appeal, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So like I, to get my time, it was just like, shh. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, that's cool. You know, I, I'll take that. And I just knew how, in my mind at least, how I was gonna do my time. Right. You know what I mean? Working out, I'm gonna get blasted, mm-hmm. super tatted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like uh, I'm gonna um, get to get to see a lot of partners that I didn't see, like that was locked up years before me that mm-hmm. I hadn't seen in since middle school type shit. Damn. You know what I mean? So it was yeah. like that's all. That's my mentality until I got like two, three years in. You mm-hmm. like. Ugh, yeah, start losing patience. Like, yeah, no, nah, this is this ain't it. Were you reading a lot? Yeah, mm. I was reading a lot. Um, but honestly, bro, I, that's that's just where I developed the 
the writing. I mean, I could always write. Yeah. And I could I always kind of... I stopped telling people, like, I started making music at, like, 2012. That was just when I put out music and right. I made it in my mind that I was going to pursue this shit as an artist. But yeah. I think through my life, I was, even if it was a subconscious thing, I was preparing myself to be an artist, mm -hmm. whether it was just... I could freestyle well at school. Yeah. Um, I was like downloading beats from LimeWire. LimeWire. You yeah. know, just, yeah. just listening, literally driving to beats, nigga, yeah. not, not, not recording them, nothing. Just said your mom rapped too, just, huh? Yeah, my mom rapped. So yeah. uh and that's another thing, just growing up, um, and my step pops, you know, and it sucks because he 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 was really present, mm -hmm. but I think he just knew it wasn't nothing he could really do yeah, yeah. type shit. I he was already yeah. older, and it was just like he just gave me my space type shit. But yeah. we had our we we had our times we uh, butted heads too. Yeah. So, uh, but I do want to give him his credit because he was present. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like a nigga just it was no father figure. But yeah. like I was really fathered by the streets type shit. It mm -hmm. just was far gone type shit. But um, he did music too. So. Uh, I seen him do the independent shit like my whole life, and it's crazy. I just realized probably like last month that he's been instrumental, you know, yeah. and he probably doesn't even know that. Like, I never even told it. that, yeah. told him that, like had a conversation with him like about that. But in what way? Just just, just seeing how independent he is. I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm the, the same way. Even when I used to. In my mind, like, see how he did shit, I'd be like, man, I would do it this way if yeah. I was doing it. You know what I mean? But I'm the same way in just terms of he's just independent. You know, he records himself. Mm. He does all of that. Like, you know, he press. He was super with it, though. He was pressing up his own CDs, oh, shirts. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, like, in the shirts, I got my heat press. I'm, like, you know, I'm the same mm. thing. You know mm. what I mean? So, and I, I just realized that at, at my mm. age now. It's like, yeah. damn. We we share a lot of similarities, you yeah. know what I mean? He was learning from them like yeah. subconsciously. For yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. That's dope, man. This this you know, it's like it's it's so crazy to think about your childhood as an adult. <laughs> you know what I mean? 100%. Especially like like as, you know, even like your younger twenties, you're still kind of a kid. Right. And now like I'm twenty nine, I don't know how old you are, but but uh Me too. Okay, so so like so we're like at that age where we're you know we're like we're adults now, right? You know what I mean? Right, one hundred percent. So that's that's crazy, but um, so I'm not trying to stay on the prison so topic, you know what I mean? No, but, but no, it's, it's... Uh, so when you got out, like what? Or you had a bar, bro? You had a bar that you said I mastered the I mastered the pen, uh, no, you I mastered the pen behind bars. The irony. The irony. Oh, yeah. I think that was I think that was on a, a, a podium. I think that was what? Uh, oh, expensive Finoga, thoughts. Expensive, expensive thoughts. thoughts. That expensive off thoughts. of, of, of uh, um, yeah, for no good reason. For no good uh, reason. yeah, yeah. So you um, was, so you was in there writing, just just going just, crazy. That's that's that's. You know what's so funny? Okay, so um, while I was in there, when I knew I was getting sent up, I really started like concentrating on the rap shit. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, cause. I got hella felonies. I ain't getting no yeah. jobs. <laughs> okay. like, yeah. So I was just like, that's logical. And I had a lot of partners who was like rapping. I'm a yeah. Trey Mac was rapping in the module. So, um, you know, it was always like, it was always there, bro. And like, mm -hmm. when you locked up, that's all there is. Like, you working out, you, you know. And uh, so, like, I would always like spit. For like my cellies or just individuals in the module that I thought was dope. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I yeah. wasn't just rapping for everybody type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But if I was like, oh, that nigga's nice, we'd end up being cool and be rapping type shit. But like, that's what started kind of, you know, niggas' reaction like, oh, you, you sure you don't really? Yeah. They yeah. been doing this? I'm <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, okay. So yeah. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of getting the confirmation like, yeah, I'm kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right. And then I just started really writing songs. And I just started, like, just, I really just was able to develop the pen yeah. in the pen. Like, it was yeah. like, and like I Like, no and, music to, to write to or nothing, huh? Not, well, nah, it would just depends. Like, the the only music that I would get is, like, the shit that was on 106. Mm. So if that was, okay. like, I remember Roger that came out, like, well, that'd be hard. <laughs> so I would rap, I would train myself to BPMs, you okay. know what I mean? Like, and that's, it kind of helped me now, like, yeah. as an artist, it's crazy. 
Hell yeah. Um, but like that's kind of that was the develop the developmental stage, and yeah. then um, it's almost a blessing in disguise, then, because no, for sure. Because when you're out, you ain't sitting down and, and exactly. And, and, I'm and, too busy. I'm yeah. not. I'm not doing that. Like I'm not. I'm not writing paper, rap raps on paper. Bro. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Yeah, hell no. There's no way. But like, but then when I'm coming in, I'm hearing about niggas on the streets. Now, mind you, before I got locked up, the only niggas I was rapping was like. Landlord. This is before landlord was landlord. What you year know, was Pee -wee. it? Pee -wee, this is yeah. 06. Oh yeah. 06. Damn. Yeah, 06. So I don't even think like Citru and them was rapping yet. Nah. I don't know. I don't think so, right? So nah. 06, when I got locked up, that's what I remember. But when you know, when you locked up, you get Niggas come in and they telling you who's hot, who's okay, rapping okay. now. What's so going on, I remember yeah. when they were saying Creo and Mook rapping on it. Fly, yeah. fly, but Mook, Mook, yeah. you know. So I'm like, okay. So I'm hearing shit through the phone. So mm -hmm. I'm hearing everybody through the phone first. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I didn't know SU was Devin for like three years. For real? Yes. Damn. Like, cause I play back. I play ball with Devin. So oh, okay. Uh, I'm just like, I'm hearing SU, SU, SU. Yeah. And I'm hearing bars. I'm hearing bars. And I had I forgot who my celly was like in the fish tank. And fish tank is like right before you get classified to go to the yard, right? right? right you basically, right. you about to go to the yard. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they about to let you out. They pretty much just you know you getting your shot. You they gonna ask you if you got any enemies on the yard. Mm -hmm. I'm good. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. So uh, like I'm in there and I'm just you know you got little papers. You know you get a little when I went to get classified. I had like papers. I flipped them shits. I'm writing raps. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. like uh. <laughs> And I'm rapping for my cellies, yeah. and like, they just like, man, you cold. They was like, man, you like, they, they used to always bring SU up. Yeah. So I'm like, nigga, <laughs> who is this nigga, Yo, right? So I'm like, fire, I'm like, bro, who is this nigga, right? So yeah. for the longest, bro, I had no idea they were the same people, bro, yeah, until yeah, I got yeah. out pretty much type shit. Oh, like, man. Yeah, like, man. I'm like, what? And by that time, he wasn't, like, rapping no more. Like, I know, man. It was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. Like, Yeah, he had the city on fire, bro. Yeah, Damn. and he's still revered to, to this right, right, day right, right, as right. like one of, sure. the, one of the hottest. For sure. You know, I you know I had Toxic up here. We talked about it, and yeah. and uh, you know I would just love to sit down with, with SU probably and talk right, about right. him, but and get and get it from the horse's mouth. But so you was, so so SU was like Drew, yeah. Uh, I was hearing Sadru. Like I remember my mm -hmm. nigga played some Sadru shit on the phone. I was like, oh yeah, that nigga hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and then um. Yeah, I remember I got out 2010. There was a lot of people rapping then. Yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of people rapping. Yeah. And I remember just getting out. I wasn't even really thinking about rapping. I just remember just on YouTube surfing, listening, seeing everybody, surveying the land, yeah, seeing so it was, was It was cool. probably a whole new world at that yeah, point. Yeah, it was. I was just catching <laughs> up and shit. And then, yeah. um, were you, were you, did you feel like you were institutionalized? Because some people come home different. You nah, know? I mean, nah. I, I, like, bro. In, in certain ways, okay. in little ways, like. Cleanliness, he was hella clean. Yeah, huh? super clean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Super clean, like. <laughs> Yo, my, uh, yeah, no, I asked that because my brother did did a bit when he was 18. He's only a year and a half older than me. He was, right. he did three years, but when he came home, when he went in, he was just an angry kid when he came home. Right. He was a full-fledged full, blown, full criminal. Like, you could just, he just wasn't the, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, he had it, an aura it, about him that wasn't. It really just depends on how you do your time. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right. Um, I had my moments where it was fuck everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, when I get out, it's fuck everybody. Right. All of that. But then, you know, but you, you, you accountability, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, accountability. It, it was nobody's nobody's fault but myself while right, I was right. there. And I can't, ex I couldn't, I was just, I just, you know, it's easy to be like, man, I would be doing this if I was you. Mm -hmm. it, you know, if you was in here, da da da. But man, it's it's just, I just had such an immature mindset. You know what I right, mean? Right. And there, it, there was times when I was locked up when I, I was so eager to get out, but I wasn't ready. Mm. I really wasn't ready. I'm mm. like, oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to make this parole, like, and mm. they dump me, and I'll mm. be hot, like. But it was so needed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I needed that maturity. I needed that extra time. Yeah. Um, I needed that. Like, I really did. Uh, it really helped me, especially. Um, Damn, are you saying the prison system works? <laughs> hey, like that's what I'm saying. It really, oh, it really it, it just depends. depends. On you. It really yeah, depends no. on you, man. 100%. Like you can literally use it as a vacation. Yeah. You know, you can use it as a gym. You can use it as a uh, college. You know, mm -hmm. if you get the right books in. I got, man. I had subscription. Like I, I did my time like <laughs> like a boss. I mean, yeah. I feel like I had my TV. I had 
every CD play. Yeah. I mean, I had every CD, The Dream, Lil Wayne Car 3, like mixtapes. Like, oh, okay. You know, so I'm, I'm nigga, He's what? tuned in still. Yeah, 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 like, bro, I'm working out when I want to. My visits is lovely. Like, I'm going to Stowe. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm getting yeah, tatted. Yeah. Like, yeah. what is what what is the problem? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, yeah. and I'm 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 training my mind. Uh, I developed a regimen that hasn't left since I left. Mm. It's just I can't think. Only thing I can think about is my record. You know what I mean? My record. Yeah. You know, but I went a different route that didn't. Yeah, I don't need it. So yeah, it's, yeah, it is yeah. what it is. So yeah. like, um, but yeah, nah. That's 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 just how I did my time. And when I got out, I just was more like. I think the ways I was institutionalized was like making sure the doors is locked, right, 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 <laughs> like right. little shit, like little shit. Then this yeah. shit, like it's yeah. little shit. But nah, overall I was the same. Like my mom was even saying that she was like, "It's so crazy." I was scared to look in your eyes when when you came home, but yeah, like yeah, the yeah. same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I think yeah. people. Well, we the you know American like TV has perception for has, sure has like fucking made it like the worst. You know, scared American straight. Media, yeah, yeah all, all, all these shit. type of movies yeah, for yeah. sure. Nah, it goes down. Don't get it twisted. No, nah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, nah, that yeah. shit. That but shit. you can't. You came down. You came out with your with your head on your shoulders. For sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. So what was the first step though, as far as music goes? Um, when I got out, I just uh, it's funny because all right, when I got out, I had recorded like. A project, but it was like on all mixtape shit. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, man, when I wrote a lot of this shit, it was to beats that I had like in my head. It was to BPMs. It was to like ideas. It was like I was selling the material short, and I was just like, mm. I'd rather put this shit on actual beats. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like on an actual. So, but it was like the perfect like thing for me because it was like my. It was my rough draft C D, okay, you know, okay, so I was yeah. listening to it and I was like, yeah. damn, I would do this differently now. Like yeah, this yeah. damn, I thought I was ready, I wasn't ready, you know, <laughs> damn. Yeah. You know, uh, I, this shit is not ready. So all of that led up to like, um, oh yeah, I'm tripping. It's a side story. 2010 I got out. I had caught another case. Oh no. It got dismissed. Okay. But I had caught a case. I was locked up for like four months. It got dismissed. Uh but that little four months was literally when I was like, I'm about to pursue this shit for real. Yeah. Like, because I was out. You running out of chances. I, yeah, and I had listened to everything, and I kind of was just like, um, damn, like, everything is, like, right in front of me. I got the homie, got the studio, mm -hmm. and then, like, I can, I can get the beats, you know yeah. what I mean? And I just started linking with producers and, like, um, just kind of started building my catalog. Yeah, yeah, on, yeah. Um, and then, shit, pretty much... Uh, I had like entered some contests, um, it was like Heat Seekers on Hot New Hip Hop, mm -hmm. and um, like one of the songs that I had put on there did really well. And then I went to LA to meet like the one of the owners of uh, Hot New Hip Hop, uh, Sorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, he was like, "Man, I like your music. Damn, I wanna back support then, it. huh? Yeah, my first, and they supported my first mixtape. That's how kind of like my base kind of built. Yeah, you know, I got a base because I had like blogs, major blogs that was promoting my early shit. So, right, right, right. Um, but I think it was just a testament to the music, you know, like mm -hmm. they was really fucking with the music. Yeah. Um, yeah. Two thousand. So you got two thousand twelve. Two thousand ten. Oh, so that's that's Drake. That's Drake bubbling. And I hate to bring up. The, I know right, you get right, the right. comparison, but I the, used to the singing and the rapping. Yeah. You know, so they yeah. probably they was like, yeah, this is for sure. Like, and you know, it's the, the even the crazy thing about that, like. Uh. What the fuck had, um, oh, so even with the singing and rapping shit, like, I remember, a, like, the first time my mom had put me on to Lauryn Hill, mm. I thought Lauryn Hill was a group the whole time. I thought <laughs> one sang, one played the music, one rap, yeah, but I thought yeah, there was yeah. a group. Oh, shit. And, uh... So I'm like, wait, so you can you can sing and rap? You can do yeah, both? She yeah. was like, yeah, if you if you can do it. So and yeah. I could sing before I could rap. Mm. You know, so I just my mom and my aunts used to want me to sing and shit all the time, sing yeah. certain songs, Jamie Foxx, shit, little shit. Yeah. And uh <laughs> so like I could I could sing before I could do the rap shit, but I always wanted to rap. My mom rapped mm -hmm. and I just love reciting like pop. Mm -hmm. And I, I could learn songs fast, mm -hmm. you know. And my, my, my mom was like, you got a good rapping voice. You know, your voice sound good. Yeah. And uh, she kind of planted that seed early on. But, like, um, I remember 
hearing that about Lauryn Hill, I was like, if if I did music, that's what I would want to do. Mm. Like, because I know I can sing, and I know I can rap. You know, yeah, in my yeah, mind, yeah. I'm like, I know I can rap. You know, I just got to think of some shit to rap. You know yeah, what I mean? In my mind. But uh, fast forward to, you know, of course, coming out, I didn't, like, I did the rapping shit, but I was, like, singing my hooks and, like, the background shit. I didn't even know if I really wanted to do the singing shit. I just knew mm. I could do it. Why, and, though? Did you, did you feel like, did you, were you not confident in it? Nah, it was just... Because that wasn't the popular thing back then. It wasn't. It wasn't, but it was just like I was selling myself short. Okay. It was just like, man, a lot of the shit early on was just like, man, I could do, in my mind, I was just like, I could do so much with my music, my versatility. I could, I want to do more, much more as an artist. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that's when I kind of started focusing on that, the music. Um, Like, Memories of the Future was probably the time where I was like, all right, I'm accepting it. I got like, I was like recording full blown R and B songs, but not putting them out because it was just like, nah, you know what yeah, I mean? It's like, yeah. nah, hell nah. But I mean, that was around the time when Weekend came, and I was like, see, damn, you know, I would be doing like, it was <laughs> yeah, like crazy, yeah, yeah. like this is how he's moving and shit. Like yeah. behind the scenes, that's exactly in my mind. That's how I was picturing it. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, that shit is crazy though. That that was like the introduction. That's kind of how I kind of started like getting my feet wet. Yeah, it's a whole different world now, man. That's like the. Do you have any advice for somebody just starting music now? Because <laughs> they don't got. It's so saturated, bro. It's, it's so like, saturated. But link, I mean, like Lincoln Bio, that's 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 everybody's best marketing right, right, scheme. Right, you know right, 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 right. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, yeah. You know what? I would say because I'm an up and coming artist myself still. You know, but uh, I would say to anybody, man, research. Mm. Study, study, study. Don't be in a rush, man. Like, yeah. I, I, don't put out your first shit. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. See, like, and I, you know, that's the thing. Like, sometimes it's good to judge yourself against your your last work, mm-hmm. but you also want to judge yourself to the the better artists that are out. Yeah. Like, I ain't never like. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, you know, I think the city has amazing talent. I think they're, um, I do think there are dope artists, but I don't never be wanting to be on no top 10 list, leave me off. Leave me off any list. I don't care about no list, yeah. bro. I really don't. I have never looked at an artist in the city like, oh, yeah, I'm... Are you nigga. talking about locally? Yeah, yeah. locally. Yeah, like, no, nigga, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that shit. Yeah, like, when yeah. I see lists, bro, like, it's love, but, like, bro, what are y'all talking about? Yeah, it's like, like this is what this is what I, this is what I um, um, compare it to. It's like, you think you're the hottest in the city? That's like being captain of the JV team. Like, bro, you... Yeah, but you're captain, but you're still on JV. It's, it, it, it hurts, bro. It really yeah, hurts. Yeah, yeah. Like the the, the standard is so low. I know. And it's low. We're getting in. You know what? And that brings me to a line that I wanted to bring up. That uh, a line that you had in the blue flame, blue flame interlude. You said, mm-hmm. "Fuck that local shit. I'm busting out the scene." Yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to jump through the screen and dab you up, bro. Because <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, Bruh. like so. Like since I've been doing this show and respect to everybody, but like, yo, this show, like. Like I'm, I can only if like out of Vegas, it's only the cream of the crop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, it's only the cream right, of the right. crop because I can't right. like you know if it, like the local rappers and local artists, they play your role, hundred sure, percent. And sure. and I'll have some people up here because because my partners, but but like other than that, man, I'm trying to make this show. You know, 100%. I'm trying to be Breakfast Club. I'm trying to do some shit 100%. like that. Like that's where my mind sure. is. So 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 you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. When when you said that, I was like, yes. For sure, bro. I, I, but I, I, you know, I would say um, content is king, mm-hmm. consistency, you know. Um, but like, and stay true to yourself. At the end of the day, I, I feel like a lot of times we, we, and I, I've, I've, I've made the mistake of um, uh, misinterpreting inspiration and influence mm-hmm. because I do think there's a difference between the two, and a lot of times. You know, like, I, if, if I see somebody doing something, I can get inspired by it and be inspired to do what I do. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going, like, damn, I should yeah. be doing that. Right. Like, I'm not that. Like, right. that, that's, that's influence. You're being influenced to do something you right. probably weren't going to do. Like, even right. with, like, basketball. I was playing basketball early on, but I was influenced to play basketball because I wanted to do it because my cousin was doing it, mm-hmm. and I did it so long enough to where I got a little good at it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But... Ultimately, music was right there in front of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? The whole time, and I ended up falling back into it later on in life. But yeah. um, 
that that is uh and it's something that spoke to me it's like so i say stay true to self um no matter what you do um it's so e- it's it's so easy to fall into that as a, as artists easy like, Easy. Like, oh, that's working. You know what I'm saying? Easy. But it's working for him. It's you know what e- I'm exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And even even how somebody blows up, they just like, oh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Nah. It's like, bro, that's not how it works. It yeah. really is not how it works. <laughs> yeah. You're literally <laughs> taken away from yourself, your yeah. higher, you know, the highest version of yourself, yeah. you know, right now. You're, you're, yeah. You know, um, I got no a blueprint to it. For sure. For sure. There's really no blueprint. There's no rules. Um, and I and I'm just grasping that now. It mm-hmm. took this long to really understand that. Damn man, like, like, I've been creating from a safe place. Like even like speaking to like, um, I got a lot of shit to talk about. But I've always like I'm gonna hold off on the the prison shit or the storytelling about certain details or certain instances about my life yeah. for the album yeah. or you know yeah. for this for that when it's yeah. just like. Nah, talk about it now, bro. Yeah. You don't even know if you're gonna be living next year. Right. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. and that's why I even like the podcast. It was like, you don't even really, you don't even know what the 2021 holds. You know, but yeah. you, you want you anything about you, you want it to come from the horse's mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I didn't sure. want no misconceptions or anything like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, no, that's yeah, that's great advice, bro. That's great advice. Yeah. Are you are you don't and stop putting out your first shit. God yeah, man, damn. Take, hey, take, <laughs> damn. Take, take, time, take time to refine, man. Yeah, it takes yo, time, man. I, bro, motherfuckers put out their first shit and think it's the hottest shit walking, man. Like, god damn. It, it, it is good to compare, you know, like I said to your life. That, that, but that's how kind of I operate now. Yeah. Now, like, don't get me wrong, sound quality production, I'm always going to compare that to the top niggas in the yeah. game. You, you know have what I mean? to. Got to, for sure. Yeah. Is it hitting the same? Yeah. Like, is the mix clean, you right. know? But other than that, like, as far as the rapping and the... You know, my last body of work, I'm always trying to top that. I'm yeah. always trying to, you know. You're so. only as good as the last thing you did. For sure. For Man, sure. but that's one thing that really stands out to me about your music is it's just, it checks everything, you know, you, you check all the boxes, but the production is just like, you know, like your choice in beats, your, the, the attention to detail that I know, you know, that, that I look for, you know, because... You know, I'm picky. I'm picky. Right, right, right. What goes into my brain? You feel right. me? I, I had to, I had to, I had to start doing that for myself. But the production, bro, like, what what is what is your like approach to? Um, I, I see. Uh, I think my earlier stuff was like just rap on anything I like, mm-hmm. um, which I still do. Don't get it twisted. But more, it's like I. For instance, like for this last body of work that I put out, I was getting a lot of beats, but I knew what I wanted to do to deliver with this body of work. So a lot of beats that I was getting that were fire, Mm -hmm. I had to put them to the, like, this shit hard, but this is like some trap Mm. influence. It's cool. You can hear hear the the, the today type shit. That, and it would just, it would go against my, the soulful vibe mm-hmm. that I'm trying to... I'm not even paying attention to this. If, yeah. it's, if it doesn't fit what, what I'm trying to convey uh, sonically, then I'm not even entertaining it. Right, right. I'll come back to it um, when, I'm, when I feel like that. I'm, I'm working towards a sound that fits that, right, that right. those sonics. But um, I've always... I didn't know I was co-producing a lot of my shit early on, but I would always <laughs> bring the sample and be like, yo, mm-hmm. chop this... I want yeah. a BPM and then like okay yeah I want an 85 or yeah. I want an 80 BPM yeah and then yeah oh yeah throw some I've always done that I have never it's been very rarely that I like I mean aside from like my in house cats that I work with Reezy, um uh shit uh Alex uh shit uh you work uh, with DG Neo, too right? you David um who are you in the studio with David? D. Grants? Yeah. D. Grants, yeah, for sure. That's my dog. I, you know, I've never, I've, me and D, I've been knowing D. Grants, like, I've been sending, see, he was one of the initial producers that I was sending my first songs to type shit. Oh, way back in the day? Yeah, way back in the oh, day. Like, damn. he'll tell you, like, uh, but, uh, I, I, and, and I've gotten a few beats from from uh, from D, but I never, um, from David Grants, mm-hmm. but I never uh, put, like, laid music on it and put it out. Mm-hmm. Never did that. Never. But not uh, yet, not yet. Not yet. But he's working on a project. And we 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 
we, I told him I'd get something on there. Yeah, so, that's my dog, sure, man. man. I seen sure. I seen he was in the video. I was like, is that is that David in there? Yeah. Right. Wait, who, who, who you talking about? He was in the video. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was yeah, in, yeah, video, he was in the, uh, the vlog. Yeah, yeah the vlog. I seen his little yeah, ponytail. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they worked together. I was like, yeah. yeah. No, I've been knowing D-Grizz for a minute. Like yeah. he's a uh, he's an engineer out here. I really fuck with. I trust uh, Reezy, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but like, like a lot of this shit now is from a technical standpoint. Now I've been actually making beats. Oh, like, that was this last year. Dope. That was one of the things that I wanted to tap into this year that I got. Um, you know, that's dope. I, lo I love it. it. I love it when artists can can make the music and do it because it right, just right. it makes it so much. It just matches. Like right. you know what I mean, especially. That that you just said like you hear a sample and then you your brain already knows what to do with it. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you already trained. You're I've already always been that way. Yeah. I've always been that way. I've always been super into production. Mm. Like man, it's so important, bro. So important, bro. It's... I can listen to, bro, on the way here instrumentals. Yeah. Like I listen to beats all the time, bro. Like that's how a lot of music is written. Um, a lot of shit don't get written in the studio. It do because I got a studio at the house, mm. but. Man, a lot of that shit gets done in the car. A lot of that shit gets done. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm a rapper when I'm in the car too. <laughs> oh God, I do. No, nah, for real, bro. That's, that's the. Uh, it's that's just, where you. It's you, can, a, you don't even. You take the long way home just to. Real. You know what I mean? You don't even want to get out the car. All that, and I feel that way about beats. So I just. Yeah. Uh, music in general, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I definitely. We. De I mean, yo, the, the production just. But it's also your choice of beats, bro. It's just the the what you're able to really go crazy on is like it's just you know like you said that soulful the music is music right, it's right. not just a beat it's right. not just like you know right. that bullshit and how do you not how do you just not 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 get into that though like you know what i mean Yo, <laughs> you know I how do you bro, I don't, that shit don't even inspire you like what you mean uh just like you know the what the fuck everything's going on today like the fucking music the bullshit ass music going on today. i mean don't get me wrong there's 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 some there's some hot spots you know yeah, like yeah. like I, f I feel like Lil Baby, like, I feel like he can really rap. Oh, for sure. He can really rap. For he, sure. He, he snapping over all these niggas mm -hmm. to me. I'm talking about the new, to the new Gunnika rap, too. Uh, I know, you know, he got he got them joints that kind of... I don't be understanding what he's saying. Yeah, um, exactly. But you know what's so crazy? I'm going to be honest. It took me a minute, and then I started, like, I like how he... I like how he distorts his shit. He purposely does that. Mm -hmm. He purposely distorts... His shit, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> like I was, I play, I was playing some shit for some, oh, for a shorty, yeah. and like on the first couple of listens, she wasn't catching none of this yeah, shit. But yeah, I was yeah. like breaking it down. She was like, oh, "Okay, I hear it." Yeah, You're yeah. like, "But that's doing too much." But yeah. I was like, "I like it. I yeah. like that. I like, I like that aspect of it." Yeah. Um, it's kind of like a code that I gotta crack. Like, what okay. was gonna say? Okay. Uh, okay. That perspective. Oh, that's yeah. kind of a little slick. All okay. right. You know, I like that, and that's kind of where I found the beauty and thugger shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, okay, he be saying some shit, but yeah. you know, it, not everything's gonna be for me though. Yeah, you know nah. what I mean? Uh, See, I've learned to appreciate different artists that I used to like just just cancel, like not even give a chance. No, one hundred. I used you know to be the saying? same way. I would never listen to like a, I wouldn't even give Gunna a chance two years ago. You right, know what I mean? Right, I wouldn't right. even give Cat. I brought those, but like my go tos is like Nip. Right, K dot Cole, yeah. you know, like. Uh, Wait, I hear it, uh, bro, bro. I hear it. I hear Cole right. in your music. It's yeah, crazy. Cole's probably my. Cole's probably my. He's been my favorite for a minute. I probably ran into Cole the most out of everybody. For real? Yeah, I'm, I ran into Cole like three times. Really? Yeah. And what was, is it like conversation or what? Nah, I mean the last time I ran into him was probably the most convo out of all the times. But man, it was just like, when, yeah, when I, I, I kicked myself in the ass for that. <laughs> I still got, I got bro, like, okay, so I ran into him, the first time I ran into Cole was, uh, I got the picture with that, that was uh, at the Gorge uh, at C in Seattle, they, uh, mm. uh, I was I was fresh out, but like, uh, my cousins had like these backstage passes, and it was, you know, they, they, yeah. I was doing my music, so they was like, man, you come down, you could probably, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, alright, let's get it, so, yeah, yeah. but, um, what was that, what year was, the, what, what, this what, was what 2010, 2011, this was uh, like, he had, that, uh, Simba song in, uh, uh, what was that, uh, uh hold with on. the basketball on the, it's like the 2011, cover? oh, no, 2011, 2011, this is like a year after I was out, nah, he had, he had, a, didn't he have an album, the, uh, he had, a. Uh, not Forest Hills Drive. No, hell no. Nah. No, nah, that was way later. Yeah, but yeah. no, he had uh 
the warm up, uh, warm Friday up. Night Lights Friday was Night out. Lights. Yeah, 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 uh, what else did he have? He had uh, In the Morning was out, was hot. Okay, okay. you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, the route was around that time. Okay. But we just had a we just took a picture. Okay, and then the second time I seen him, uh, it was kind of the same situation, but it, it wasn't as terrible as the third because even in my song <laughs> I was like the next time I see Cole I'm a rap for him. Yeah. My nigga, I seen this dude like I had a show in Dunn. It's Dunn is D U N N in North Carolina. Okay. I had a show out there. And when I it was in Charlotte, but I, when I flew out there you have to fl you had to fly from a connecting flight to uh from Charlotte to Fayetteville. Okay. And then Dunn was like 20 minutes or something. Okay. So and so I was so the first thing that comes to mind is J. Cole. I'm like, damn, yeah, I'ma yeah. finally see this nigga stomping grounds. Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So I get to the airport. The airport is small. Okay. I'm talking about like, damn, like, damn, this shit is small. Like, yeah, yeah. and it has the welcome to Fayetteville uh shit. And it's a little, it looks real army, you know, mm -hmm. real military army, type you know, military town, type yeah. town. Yeah. Um, so it was cool. Did the show. It was like at a damn School, <laughs> you know, school <laughs> stage. That's yeah, just yeah. where they had the venue, but uh, yeah, yeah. it was cool. Went to some fans' house. They had like a, a basement. They like his brother. One of the brothers had like died. His brother has died, but okay. he was a fan of my music type oh, shit. shit. Yeah, it was a dope little experience. But on the way back, I remember telling myself like, that'd be crazy if I seen Cole, nigga. I see Cole. Where? I'm talking about on the flight, and I still got. I still got. I'm sure I still got the pictures, but on the flight, bro, you I had a whole flight with him. Lit a whole <laughs> flight from. This was May 2000. <laughs> 15, May bro, 2015. You dropped the ball, this was born bro. center <laughs> around born center time. Oh god, this man. is a uh, nigga. He was with his. He was with this uh, this little light skin. It wasn't his girl. I think it was one of his managers because she's still with Dream mm -hmm. the Dreamville the team. Mm -hmm. I think her name is Monique. And then he had this dude who's like a bodyguard who still who still mess with him. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I, when they got on the plane, I was like, hold up. So I went to the back of the plane. Yeah. When I get on the plane, I can't find this nigga. I'm like, I I know he got on this plane. He come out the bathroom. Oh, shit. And he come out the bathroom. He look at me. He's like, what's up? I'm like, what's good? And that was it. Like, he walked to the <laughs> damn. He walked oh, to the... He sat down. And he uh, laid on the... He laid on the... Uh, he laid... He had a... On the window. So I'm yeah, just yeah. like, damn. I'm not letting this nigga get, get to this next gate. I'm yeah, on his yeah, head, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. So we on the flight, bro. This was the worst turbulence I have ever been in. Oh, I don't know if he's been in other ones after this, but mm -hmm. I guarantee you, he'll tell. He has to know. He woke up. Uh -huh. The nigga woke up. Yeah. Like it was like, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. like it was crazy. But uh, so like that was the last time, and I had followed the nigga like to his gate because it was a connecting flight from Fayetteville to Charlotte, and mm -hmm. then from Charlotte, I think they went to L.A. But um, I followed him all the way to his gate only to like. His security was like, nah, bro. Like, yeah. and I was like, bro, let me just yeah. give me an email. Yeah, yeah. And he gave me an email, and I had like a little recorder. I was recording and shit. Yeah. Like, um, the email was wrong. Shit, I got oh, some return man. to senders. It was just crazy, bro. It was Damn. crazy. But Cole is the 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 artist that I ran into the most. Um, which Damn. I feel like, yo, those were your opportunities, bro. <laughs> like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> nah, and that's crazy, the bro. that's the artist to to right. be running into. No, nah, for sure. God for sure. damn. For sure. Well, I think uh, I think for sure you still have the best years ahead of you, and and I think you'll be able to. You keep talking, Agreed, speaking bro. that into existence, Agreed. and bro, you, you you're gonna be able to tell him that story to his face, bro. That shit was crazy, and I got I got weird, like I got like pictures I don't even want to show you, but yeah. they're like creep or creep yeah, pictures, yeah, like yeah, yeah. getting to his uh, you, gate. You, you know what I mean? A little bit. I, I was I was just like, I didn't think it would be because it was just so crazy. I was just like in my head, like. What if I seen yeah. J. Cole in Fayetteville yeah. and in, and he's on the plane, bro? It was a small little plane. Oh, it was my, May. What are the odds, it was bro. in May of 2015, bro, but it was just the craziest. Do you, do you, do you beat yourself up about that a lot? Nah, nah. It's Not just anymore. a little dope little moment that yeah, I was yeah. just like, yeah, it was crazy. Gosh, damn. Yeah, he's had a Dreamville hoodie on, some yeah. Jordan shorts. Yeah. And um, he yeah. had like a little fro. Type yeah, shit, you yeah. know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah. He's and a Roly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Just getting to his gate, you yeah. know what I mean? Damn, yeah, shit dog. was crazy. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it was crazy, oh. man. It was crazy. Damn. Well, I don't know, man. The, those that I hear that though, like in your music is Cole and 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 Drake for sure. And do you still get those uh, comparisons a lot? And does that bother you or not? Nah, I mean I haven't got a Drake comparison in really since my first mixtape. Yeah, bro. I bro. My first tape. Bro, it sounds like 
I forget what song it is, but it's there, bro. It's there for yeah. sure. Not 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 like the Drake now, I don't think. Right, right. But like the the Thank Me Later Drake, you know, and a little bit more. But it's 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 there, bro. Like you See, like, you can hold your weight in though in in with them to me. You know. Yo, no, mean? no, I, and I get that. Like I I get that. Like I think my I think my thing was always like when I hear. See, tone is different from like me and Drake got similar tones. Mm -hmm. We got similar tones, so that's that that comparison is is I understood the comparison. But when I hear songs like I don't know if you heard of my song called "Need Me Some," but like I can't think of a Drake song that's that he has that's "Need Me Some." Like okay. that's just me; it's my opinion. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. when I hear "Need Me Some" with the Michael Jackson sample, I um. I don't hear like there's not a there's not a record in his catalog that I could align that with. So mm -hmm. when people say like the Drake, I'm like, well, what song? Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I would like to know like. So I'm like, okay, I can see tone or I can see like maybe tempo, flow, you know. But like, I'm on it like laser beam, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm very <laughs> conscious of how I create, you know what yeah. I mean? Even if a, even if a note sounds like it's similar. I'm like, oh, no, nah, we're not using that. Mm. Like, I'm very, very okay. conscious. So, like, when I hear the comparison, I'll, I'll, I'll be more so, like, in what way? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when people say you're on that level or when people say, you know, when my, on my first mixtape, like, they're like, oh, this is my favorite artist. Mm -hmm. Those were, like, confirmations. Like, okay, cool. Then this is what I should have been doing like, yeah. for them. It's not like, oh, this, he's a dope artist. It's like, oh, this is my favorite artist. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think the Drake comparison really comes just with this, the rapping and singing, but be, for sure, but doing it well, doing it well, yeah, exactly, and balanced, like one hundred percent. Like the music is you, you balance it because you one thousand. You know and, and and I get that one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Um, but let's switch gears, man. I want to talk to you about your relationship with Dizzy Wright and coming out of Vegas, and for sure. and and he's, I mean, he's. I feel like uh, you guys are real close, man. And you Dizzy. guys, yeah, you guys been together for a long time. That's bro, man. Yeah. Um, I'm very proud of Dizzy. I've always been proud of Dizzy. Um, you know, with everything, the store, the the yeah. strands, the yeah. you know, and you know, you can if if you you I'll be happy for anybody making it out the city and and representing a good light. But when it's a good motherfucker, you're mm -hmm. even more happy. You know, yeah. you're more, you know, you're more just. You know, you're heaping more praise on them because you yeah. know they're good people. You know yeah. what I mean? You know some. You know, it's, it's, uh, but yeah, our, our relationship has always been solid. It's always been a genuine relationship. He's always. How'd you guys um, link up? Um, really it was just, uh, how do we link up? We just knew mutuals. Okay. We knew mutuals and like, it, it got to a point. I, I feel like it just got to a point where, um, I don't know. Like I remember, when was this? 2014? Like I, I just remember like right after he was on MTV Jams, I was on MTV Jams. Mm. Then I had like a new joint on 106. It just got to a point where, I don't know. He, I, I you'd have to ask him when. When was the moment? You know, he mm. reached out. But I remember he reached out and just mm. was on some, yo, bro, we gotta get up, we gotta get it in type yeah, shit. Yeah. But it's been. He's known this person that has been been in his ear. I know this guy who's been in my ear. Right, right, you know, right. we just never locked in. Just like fire yeah you know when it's finally just locked in type yeah, shit yeah yeah um yeah no i i, I you guys uh you guys are really different artists too so yeah, it's, yeah. it's dope to see you guys on the same record you mm -hmm. know especially that one with tech nine that's all that, yeah, that was yeah, dope yeah. that was it yeah. were you stoked about that like getting to be able to be on the same song yeah tech nine? you know so my my uh my mom loved tech nine like mm -hmm. you know what i mean like that's how i even knew about tech line type shit like mm -hmm. tech nine been around for years you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. like and he's been an underground legend for years. Like I've always Real. looked at his business acumen and how he mo Real. how he moved and yeah. you know he people don't talk about tech nine enough. Man, on people don't talk, but yeah. they really don't. Mm -hmm. But he's always been somebody that I looked at like, excuse me, like yeah, he's a. Uh, if I could just be, if I could be a millionaire and play low key and drop yeah. a hit on the radio when I want to, yeah. and oh, Still. that's how I would do it. Like yeah. that, you know, I've always looked at the in his independent shit. Like yeah, that's he do it the way I would want to do it. Um, so I, it was just uh, definitely something I check off the off the. Yeah. Off Did the you get to meet him? Dope. Nah, I didn't. Uh, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. But I remember after I laid the hook, when I heard the beat, I just laid the hook. I know Dizzy. Dizzy started fucking with it, and, and he was like, "Man, I'm about to throw, throw Tech Nine on it." I'm yeah, like, "Oh yeah, yeah that, 
got to be dope, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But any follow through with it type yeah. shit, so it wasn't. That's hard, bro. Um, that's a good look for the city too, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Um, from your so from your angle, like, what do you? How do you see Dizzy Wright's influence for Vegas and him being, you know, the one that's might have garnished the most attention? And because um, you know, you I'm sure you hear it all, all the bullshit. He doesn't, you know, he 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 doesn't get the support or whoop de woo, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, th- th- this is the thing I'll say about. Uh, I think, well, as it pertains to Dizzy, I think for Dizzy, I think he's maxed out on what he can do. Like, unless he gets a hit record, I mean, because I feel like that's the only thing that hasn't been done in mm-hmm. Vegas. We, that's the one thing that I feel like people haven't really realized. Like, I think you know the freshman shit was dope, mm-hmm. and he's he tours and he he's he's he's, a uh, career. he's built a, a base yep. that he you know. Um, but with that, he's transitioned. He's 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 diversified his portfolio. He's got a store now. He got mm-hmm. strands. Burner's doing the same thing. Yeah. There's a multitude of other artists who Nipsey are on that did the level. Same thing. Exactly yeah. Yeah. in its own way. So I mean, he's up. He's yeah. uh, he's doing good. Right. I, I don't know what else. You know, I, I think you know now. If he had hit records, yeah. Th- um, I think that would speak to influence as far as Vegas in the scene because. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I say this, I, and I've said this in certain circles, but I haven't really, you know, I, I've never thought Vegas had a music scene. Never. And I'm talking about, I've been to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I've been to L.A. Like, when I drive to L.A., the first thing you hear is, like, R.J. Or you, right. you hear artists People from... playing their and music. It, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's... You go to Atlanta, it's the same thing. I was yeah. hearing, when I went to Atlanta, I heard about Rich Homie Kwan way before he was lit. Mm-hmm. Way, but he was lit there, and every DJ was on board rocking with the him. The city got behind um, him, yeah. and, and, and it's not only that, but it's just the scene. Like, okay, so Atlanta, they got, like, this thing called Coalition DJs. So you you literally, they'll take your record, you, you, you basically present your song, you perform it for all the DJs in the city, mm-hmm. all the hot DJs. You perform it for them, you host uh, you know, you get to know them. You network after that. Um, you know, they play your stuff at Magic City, uh, mm-hmm. Follies, all throughout. Yeah. Like that is that is a that is a scene. Yeah. That's something that supports a scene. Yeah. Um, that doesn't happen here. And I'm no. not saying that the DJs have the power to change your life, but it would really be dope if when people come to Vegas, they get an idea, a sense of. Even if it's three or four of of the main artists or the yeah. artists you fuck with, whatever it don't matter. Yeah. Typically, it's the artists that they fuck with right, or right. The artists that they push. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm just saying, like, just from a, a quality standpoint, you want to push. Even if you don't know this artist, but you know he's dope, right. you should be playing one of two of his joints. Yeah. This artist right here, she's cold. Mm-hmm. She got a joint you really rock with. Play it. You know what I mean? Like at your fun. Excuse me, at your functions or. You know, I just think that there in these different cities, there's actual, you know, there's labels, yeah. there's a multimedia companies, right, right. there's stuff like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, we, we expanding. It's dope yeah. and it's great to see. That's yeah. why I want to be a part of it, help build. But yeah. um, we don't have things to speak to a scene. We right. got when we think about the scene, you think about the strip. Now that's yeah. the thing we have in our favor is that we have a, a globe. You know, the globe knows about Vegas, the scene, the right. strip, but there's no face to the music because right. we don't got no hits. Right. You know, ain't nobody. Dic- you ain't dictate nothing because you're not moving nothing on the strip. Right. You right. know what I mean? If you're not performing in the strip like Lil Baby or Dre's, yeah. And you from here, yeah. That's when you know it's lit. That's when they know like, oh, it's really a scene here. It's yeah. Really artists that's really making some moves. Yeah. Um, that's when you'll start seeing a real shift in, on the influence, but um. You know, we did have stuff like Tuesday Blend. We did have stuff, you know, but the pandemic yeah. really, but even before the pandemic, like the stuff downtown, the yeah. beauty bar, they took that away. Yeah. You know, this is a lot of stuff that in other cities, yeah. if you go to L.A., there's a 50 places you can perform. Exactly. You know what I mean? Strip it's clubs and all that stuff, all, way little, different. Little yeah. inner basement spots that's yeah. cold, little spots. So we don't have that here. We've right. never really had that here. We've yeah. never had a scene. You know, we had, you know, Daddy Max. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. you have these little spots, you know what I mean? Um, that shit's like karaoke. Yeah, I, I agree. I you agree. Know, we so need we need the space to 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 to, to, to do it, you know. We need For the space. Sure. Um, no, I agree 100%, bro. Uh, I think it's, you know, the people as the non-artist people, the fans, this is new to us too. It's we're just 100. we just don't know how to do it. We don't know how to right. like, you know, we don't 
you know, we're we're used to going to the strip, to the clubs, you know, where they're playing right. the biggest record or they got the biggest DJ. These big DJs ain't playing like, you know, the up and coming artists. For you know sure, what I mean? for sure. So that's what we're like accustomed to. So, you know, but we do need more spaces downtown and, and spaces around the city. And, the, and I think a lot of these DJs and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. Vegas is like a, a, you know, what is it, a gypsy town? Is that what you call it? But a lot of people from out of town. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come, so they're not they're not attached to right, right, us. Right, right, You know what right, I'm saying? 100%. 100%. So, so I think we're getting there. I mean, so we I, are, you know, we we're are. growing. But I, but I feel you, bro. And that's that goes back to what you said about the local shit. Like, that's cool. Like, the local shop, I got love for everybody in the city. But, bro, that's not what I'm on, really. It's you know what I'm it. saying? It's I'm not, not it. Like, you, you had a crab in a, a crab in a bucket. One hundred percent. That's 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 what I what I see when I be seeing that. It's like, bro, yeah. who, who, who on who that really, really is really talented. Really, just looking at the land. And you know, that's one thing I do. I will say that I need to be more, um, just more, uh, more aware of. It's just who is you know just on because I know that I know there's a, a whole bunch of new artists in the city. Mm-hmm. It is good to keep an ear to the street and you know, yeah. Um, to see, but again, bro, like, like I feel like, bro, if it's if it hasn't made it, like, it's not hard to sponsor something. Yeah, yeah. It's not hard to sponsor. Know some a dope video that you got. You know, right, right. fifty dollars, you can make it to, on on my timeline. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. not hard. Are you doing that yeah. minimally? That's like the minimum, you know. But I'm just like again speaking to the consistency, and I'm only speaking from these are things that I need to do as well as mm-hmm. an up and coming artist. But like, um. I'm not. I'm, I've never. I when I even coming out the gate, I wasn't thinking locally. Like I, I wanted to know who was dope, just because I want to know who was dope. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, and then when I started like tapping in, I'm like, oh shit! Like nigga, that's Devin. That's yeah. I'm like, oh shit! Yeah. You know? So like, <laughs> um, and it's the same when niggas be like, I've gotten the same responses from niggas that know me. Like, oh shit, Strokes, Euros, Drewski, whatever. Yeah, like yeah. I had a couple names before this, so like. <laughs> They're like, oh, I didn't even know you, yeah. you know. Um, but like, that's just, you know, I've I've never been one to be like. Um, I just, I, I guess for me, I just understood the game. I understand. I've seen uh, cities that kind of cater to a scene, to a music scene, to yeah. artists cater to the up and coming artists. They have things in place to let you know creatives flourish. They have yeah. things on a weekly basis. Coach K, like he has a thing like every. Um, is that who you be talking about? Yeah, Coach K. Oh, okay. You know, Coach K is uh, co-owner of QC. Yeah, I know he is. You yeah. know, Coach is... But, like, even when he has, like, little gatherings mm-hmm. where he got people that come up to him, the DJs and people who just who keep yeah. an ear out for all the new artists. Right, right. Like, there's just so many different little functions and little, uh, little creative hubs and things yeah. like that in these cities. And that's why they have such successful music yeah. scenes. And that's New York as well. Yeah. They got labels. They got multimedia. Everything is in New York if yeah. you want to hit the hit the circuit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Spotify. All of, that, every, all of that is in New York. And that's when these these labels, they got to take the artists on the run. They yeah. go to New York. They go to Atlanta. They yeah. go to the L.A. Because they have things there that cater to it. So once we yeah. start expanding and once we start thinking outside the box yeah. and raising our standards and really, you know what I mean? I, I feel like I truly feel like you know, you will start seeing artists get a lot further and, and flourish. But really, mm-hmm. we we making magic with nothing. You know, yeah. so people who do make noise, like when you see people make like Dizzy make make they, it's tough, bro. You gotta yeah. think about artists that try to come here in general. Like, there's a lot of artists that come to the city that don't pack this motherfucker. Like, if you're not oh, yeah. doing T-Mobile, mm-hmm. you you know, Brooklyn Ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, if you're not doing those two venues, and it's yeah. not a lot of artists that can just come here, and artists that be on the radio, it, mm-hmm. it's not artists that can just really come here and pack those out unless you got, like, you know... I mean, I've seen artists come out here, and it, it don't be packed like that. Yeah. And I just say I just say that it speaks to Vegas, the type of city it yeah, is. Yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. going on. You know, yeah. you're competing with a lot yeah. in one spot. On a Friday night. On a Friday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, um, the promotion got to be... At, a one, you know, yeah. it gotta be everything. Gotta be a one, like, and um, it ain't just on the promoters, it ain't just on the DJs, it yeah. ain't just on the artists, it ain't just on. But these are things that we definitely gotta like look at and analyze and know, yeah. like moving forward, man. We gotta, you know, this yeah, well, we're definitely a different kind of city, for so sure, you know. for sure, bro. But, but but why? So why have you just chosen to stay here? Why haven't you moved to LA, New York, where opportunities might be more accessible? I mean, because. At the end of the day, well, I'll say this. 
I plan on definitely moving around a lot more because it's needed. You can't just be, sure. you can't just. Dizzy taught us that. You sure. can't, yeah, you yeah. can't just be here, you know what I mean? But um, I would never move to these cities, you mm -hmm. know, because that's not really like. That's not what you need. You just need to go there. Yeah, you just need to go there and yeah. build, and, and network and build ties and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, tap in, you know, just tap yeah. in with different yeah. people. Uh, go out there and uh, see how they work in the studios. You know, you know, go to their spots, go to yeah. their hot spots, meet the DJs. You know, play your music for certain for certain different for different artists, different producers, and yeah. just 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 get you know just get out there. You know, mm -hmm. just get out there. But like, and um, I plan on doing a lot of that. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, do you have a manager? Have you ever nah, had a manager? Nah, I mean the closest thing that I had a, a manager is. Is Dame, Dame. Mm. Uh, Shout out Dame. Dame, Dame, uh, yeah. Dame. But that's that's a close friend of mine. But like, nah, I've never signed actual paperwork, nah, because mm. I'm. He's again, more of an advisor kind of deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know, he um. But even Coach though, Coach, Coach. How is, did you get tied in with Coach K? Um, because that's like Coach is like know? my mentor. I could text Coach right now. Like Coach has been my mentor probably for like the last. That's crazy. A couple years. See, when you when you you mentioned him a lot in the raps, and yeah. uh, and I'm like, is he talking about Coach K? Because yeah, I only yeah. know one coach, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And you know, I've studied Coach K because I've been on the management side and behind the scenes side right. for doing some, you know, some other shit. And and Coach K and 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 P and they they they've definitely QC when when you know when Migos came out and QC yeah. was a thing and they were really branding the fuck out of QC. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, who the fuck are these dudes, man? I've seen from the Migos coming. I remember they got OG Maco. Rich the Kid was over there. Yeah, I remember all of that. Like the whole, uh, I, remember I was at South by Southwest with uh, mm. Coach K. But the funny thing is, Coach K been hearing about my voice, or not my voice, but he been hearing about my name for since like my second mixtape mm. because I had some, I had, I had a, uh, a cat, a doe, it's my partner, uh, shout out doe, wherever you at. Uh, you know, he was just a street nigga investing some paper in me, you mm -hmm. know, uh, advising me on shit and kind of get me in rooms and shit. Yeah. And um, he was trying to get my music to Coach K. And he was telling me, man, I'm telling you, Coach is the dude, da da da. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, man, come on, man. Like, yeah. uh, and he just like, bro, I'm telling you, like, man, if we get, you, if Coach just hear you, bro, you, you out of here. Yeah. So I'm just like, man, all right, so. Yeah. And but Coach was just doing his own thing at the time. Uh, fast forward, um, uh, battles, my nigga, battles. Um, we there was a show in Indiana, and Coach showed up to the show. Mm. He showed up to the show and like unannounced. Rest, yeah, unannounced. We were just <laughs> and um, but but leading up to that though, I had a couple conversations with Coach. Um, but when we talked, he pretty much just told me, like, bro, I've been hearing about you for so long. Yeah. Finally, you know, having a conversation with you, I want to meet, whatever, whatever, we met. And we've always just been, we've always been cool ever oh, since. Um, oh. And, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, every every year has been like, this probably been the second year, but every year, you know, he always fly me to L.A., get a studio, I got to play my shit, you yeah. know, like have some friends in type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's he just been a fan. He's always been a fan. He hit yeah. me randomly like, bro, he hit me with a bar, just like, yo, man, yeah. you nice. Yeah, that, yeah. Just, that's, that's just been a relationship, and it's just always grown from there. That's beautiful, man. Um, um, well, then, I, I've, you know, in these kinds of people, I know, I'm sure, some labels have approached you. Yeah. What's the deal, bro? Come on, man. Man, I, just hell no, nah, like. Nah, nah. It's 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 simple as this. A lot of times you hear people like, oh, you know why? You know that's the. I think that's the first thing. I mean, I think that's my mom said too. Like, when she found out who mm -hmm. Coach K was, she was like, well, what's the deal? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like what's it doing for you? Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just like, that's that's not how it works, right? Mom. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's just not how it works. Build like, the relationships and all that, you know, like that. On top of like when you know, I think. Um, the gift and the curse for me has been like, I'm like, like I said, with the, the research, the study, bro. I yeah. did a lot of research on independent and what a le what a contract is, mm -hmm. what a label is, you know, what what exactly, what a situation and, and I've never, to be honest, I'll just say it is like this. I've never built the leverage up mm -hmm. to get the deal that I want. Right, right. I've been in like, bro, 
I really that's why I'd be like, I want people to raise their standards because I really wish they understood how easy it is to get a deal. Mm. It's not hard to sign. It's hard to get the deal that you want. Right, it's hard right, to right. get a good deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not hard to go in these offices and sign your likening, likeliness away yeah. if you're talented. Yeah. They'll sign you just to just to bind you in contract so right. nobody else can get you. That right. that 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 that's nothing for them. You know what I mean? So I've 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 been in meetings, you know. My last meeting was, um, I wouldn't say it was an official meeting, but it was a, with official A&Rs at mm -hmm. Motown, you know, playing music, you know. Uh, again, like... You had, a, you had a bar about that, too. I'm not dancing on no table. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it, it, and again, like, my thing is this. Like, again, I will always be honest about myself. I can look in the mirror and, and know where I need to improve on, you know. Yeah. I need to put myself out there more. I got a lot of songs that got... A lot of views that don't have videos. You know, mm -hmm. I got a lot of shit. I got like seven tapes, seven projects out, and you can count on one hand how many videos I got. It's yeah. not good. You know what I mean? That's not gonna help my. That's that doesn't create awareness for who Euros is. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, especially for my bigger records. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I haven't done on on the artist side. Uh, but just from a like a label side, like if I'm in a like in a room and I'm playing music, let's cut. Let's cut the bullshit. Y'all yeah. know what y'all know what y'all getting. Y'all know the, the, the level. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that I would write records for other artists. Right. Y'all know I co-produce. So, but that's like they're not gonna. This, that's not how it is. It's like yeah. they're gonna offer me because I don't have a viral song or because I don't have a hit yeah. or because I don't have that momentum builder, that record that looks promising. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. They're gonna offer me the standard, standard situation, and for me, bullshit, yeah, yeah, that's just, it's not. When you look at it, it's, man, it's just it, the, the way. It's just not the best situation, but it'll yeah. look good. It'll look good, and you'll be able to say you're signed. Yeah, but you know, you're doing the right thing. I mean, at this in 2020, we hear horror stories all the time about about you know label deals, and still to this day, and you know the, the artists like, you know Jay Z, and and, and there's a there's a, there's a plethora yes, of all different yes. artists that that give game about it and right you know so i mean i i figured that's you know you just you know you building the leverage you know what i mean to, and that, to and partner with somebody that exactly that's 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 the plan um this top of 20 to uh 2021 i plan to um, get with a manager you know make that decision make mm -hmm. that official um, Has Coach K ever, you guys ever had that conversation? Yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. And, and I'm going to be honest, any t I would run it by Coach K, who, no matter who it is, just be out of respect, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. definitely run it by him, like whether <clears throat> I was rocking with Dame or, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I, I would definitely run it by Coach K just because he's he's approached me on that level yeah. before. Um, so, yeah, I mean, getting an entertainment uh, lawyer, yeah, for all sure. of these things are for important, sure. yep. you know what I mean? Um he actually hit me about that like a couple months ago. Like, bro, you need. Where do you even find one of those, though? <laughs> it's not hard. It's, it's yeah, you know, Twitter. Oh, okay. Twitter. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. entertainment law. You like yeah, the, yeah. the top. The top four people will pop up. Yeah. Um, uh, Carl's a good one. Um, like there, there's a couple of them that yeah. are good. You know, um, but those are the things that you need when you when you're really when you especially if you're gonna sign a contract. Yeah, you know, if you're gonna sign sure. a contract and you gotta. You got some situations on the table. Mm. You're gonna have to. I've dealt with entertainment lawyers before on a, uh, like I've Scott Scott dude in New York earlier on. He would handle like a lot of my paperwork. You mm. know what I mean? I would just pay him. He'd either get paid from the deal that I were making, or yeah. I just pay him flat rate, whatever right. we decide. But I think a lot of times artists get intimidated. You know what I mean? By yeah. the 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 just the the thought of yeah. but it's just it's a conversation to have them nine times out of ten if they see potential in you they want to work with you they want to come across a diamond in the rough you know yeah. what i mean and because they know what they can bargain they know what they can negotiate yeah you know? um, yeah that's important bro so having yeah. having your paperwork right is important. for sure for sure you don't want to work backwards damn so so what does 2021 have in store for you dropping it okay hold on let me let me you, you drop a new album in january uh yes. Okay. Well, listen, I'm 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 the deluxe to the project I just dropped. I'm dropping like five new songs. Okay. So I'm about to do that. I was gonna do that. I was trying to get that shit before the end of the year. Okay. I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna just drop it probably the first week, the first week of January. Um I got a uh I got a all 
See, it's, it's crazy because I got an R&B project I've been working on, and then I got an album I've been working on. And the last time I did this, I ended up meshing it together. That's like <laughs> yeah. for two birds, one stone. So it's oh, like, yep, yep. so who knows what happens, but um, so much content. Uh, Isolated is the brand. Yeah. Or, uh, I love it. That's that's going to be, um, I brought some stuff too, but um, that's just expanding on that. I'm wrapping up my first collection. Uh, Probably the end of January. Okay. Got some really dope pieces. So why do you why do you put out projects and not singles, given the landscape of music today? But see, and see, you caught you caught on to that. Like that's 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 kind of what I'm on. That's kind of what is that. That's why I even like when I said the R&B and the, I was about to just break it down and just start dr just dropping records. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Uh, even Dizzy, you know he's he's on that. He's like fuck it. I'm yeah. about to just and that's and honestly that's. The only reason I dropped Choices, Chances, Changes was because I didn't want 2020 to go by and I didn't have a body of work that okay. represented what I was going through. The, the You know, I I think I, it was one year, 2016, where I didn't drop nothing. I don't know. It was one year, but I hate that it skips. Like, yeah, I hate, yeah. I don't never like it to be a year that I don't drop a body of work, yeah, even if yeah. it's five songs, an EP or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was just this year was tough. This year was tough because the body of work that I was creating in the beginning of the year changed drastically with mm. the Kobe. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like the COVID. Mm -hmm. It was just like the music and there was more like hits and R and B joints on there. I it stripped all of time, that. Yeah. Nah, I didn't. It just those records didn't even feel meaningful to me. It mm. was just like I got they got to play the cut. Yeah. And uh, I just focused on a more just. Uh, yeah, the re all the records that all the records that were on that project felt, and that's why like these extra five songs, I'm kind of giving you a little bit more okay. of the, the other shit. Okay, so, okay. Because I I deprived them of that. Yeah, you know, initially. It's, so. Bro, it's such a beautiful project, man. Such a beautiful project. Appreciate it. The appreciate uh, it. the uh, um, the cover art too. I love the cover art. Appreciate it's it. like it's just like you're very you, you know it's like you're a professional bro you know what I'm saying that's why you're a professional dog <laughs> I appreciate but, it but but the music though like I literally like that's the best way I can describe it bro it's, it's like it's beautiful bro the music like it's just it's just so good bro it's so well balanced but that's love. but um appreciate it for real for real yeah absolutely but but that's like like art not everybody can drop projects, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> like they can't. <laughs> oh, we don't want to hear that bullshit no, for, no, for an hour, you know what I mean? Bro. So you know, I, I've I've even some of my some of my favorite, like some of the goats, bro, have have got have, have I hate to say it, but it, it kind of exposed themselves, you know, through the years, like just not being able to evolve mm -hmm. and kind of not. And I'm not saying you have to. Uh, you gotta do what what's everybody's doing but there is something to be said you want to be aware of what is hot yeah you know not to you don't gotta know to do it but just to either stay away from it or just be like okay let me let me um let me uh deconstruct it let me break it down and see what people do like about it you right, know what i mean right. like uh because you can sound real dated you know yeah. what i mean if you don't know what's going on you yeah. know what i mean and some of my favorites yeah. They're still putting out music today, yeah. and it's terrible. Like, from a listener's perspective, you know what I mean. Yeah. It already sucks that I'm an artist. Is I've already robbed myself of enjoying music from just <laughs> listening to it that way. I'm always yeah. picking it apart, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, Do you know, you um, can't even. I bet you can't even listen to rap music like that's that. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I be like, <laughs> I don't even listen to artists that what people would think. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't listen to, bro. Like, I listen to like Sade, mm -hmm. SZA. You listen to uh, other other like different genres and shit like yeah yeah bro yeah like that's, that's I've been getting into bro I, I've always hated country music but I've been getting into a little bit of country right, right, music right, right, a little right. bit bro um, yeah man I feel you though the the, the other genres because I'm a hip hop like I love I've always loved right. the first music I I had to beg my mom was to go buy Get Rich or Die Trying you know and I had to right, beg right. her for that shit and she didn't want to buy that shit of course you know. <laughs> And uh, and but I've always like I never really gave other genres a chance, but right. now but it's like refreshing, bro. The other genres, for sure, you know what for I mean? For sure, for my ears, for sure. But for sure. Uh, damn, I think we should wrap this up, man. What's a, how long has it been? Damn, see, oh, that shit, shit goes. See, that shit went by fast. Okay. Five, uh, fucking fast as fuck, bro. But we covered um, everything? We covered no, we didn't, bro. But <laughs> an hour and 18 is enough. Okay. It's enough, okay. bro. We, we got to, I got to have you back. 
For sure. And uh, you sure. know, this was this was super insightful, bro. I really appreciate you pulling right, up. Man, I appreciate you having me, bro. Yeah, man. I truly, think, truly. <laughs> absolutely. I think the best best years are ahead of you, man. Anything I could do to help, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. I appreciate bro. it, man. Thank you. And thank you for putting me up on that 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 18. That shit was oh, smooth. I'm oh. gonna have to, I might have to fuck with it. You oh, might, you might have started something. Hey. <laughs> you only got you know one kid, you start fucking with that 1800, you're gonna have two pretty soon. For real. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> nah, man. but uh yeah, come back, bro. Peace and love, man. Man, appreciate it. Yes, much sir. love, much love. Oh, yeah. That was great, bro. Appreciate you, that man. Great, appreciate man. you having me, man. I didn't even know that the time was... <laughs>